Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Hannah. I post weekly videos of all things fashion and beauty related that are also vegan and cruelty free. So if you like what you see and you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It would mean the world to me and I would love to have you be a part of my family. So today I wanted to go over my 2017 makeup favorite. I was like, do I even have enough favorites from this year to share in a video? And I do. Grab a cup of tea. This might be a long one but I think I have a lot of good cruelty-free vegan makeup products to share with you guys, especially those of you who are new to veganism, you're doing Veganuary, maybe you are just like trying to apply that to other areas of your life and maybe you're buying new makeup products and you're like, hey, maybe I should check to see if this is vegan or cruelty-free before I buy it, maybe this will help. By the way, I am drinking Jasmine Green Tea by Numi. This is my favorite tea ever. Basically anything floral, Okay, so let's get started with primers. I'm going to start out with an oldie, but a goodie. By the way, I have never done a favorites video of like all my favorites from the year. So it's not like these products are new to the market or anything. They're just my personal favorite makeup products that I used throughout this year and I trust and love. So that's the deal with that. First up, we have the Too Faced Hangover RX. I feel like this was probably one of the first primers I ever started using because I went a long time of wearing makeup without putting a primer on, which kind of like blows my mind. I really like this because it's super, super hydrating. So for the days where I just maybe want to do like a light, no makeup look, but I want to have something super hydrating and glowy on, this is the best primer for that. And then another one I really loved uh, because it's dirty AF is the Urban Decay Quick Fix Primer. I really like this because if I'm running late, I can't put on a ton of makeup. I can just spritz this over my face before I start and feel like I have some sort of a primer on. Also, this is just very lightweight for those of you who don't like the feeling of a bunch of product on your skin, sometimes primer in addition to foundation, in addition to concealer, in addition to powder, it's just a lot. So if you prefer a really lightweight feel, then you will love this. Next up from Pacifica, I have this Mineral Color Correcting Creams and it comes with three different colors, yellow, red, and green. And I've only really mostly used the green. I never really was into color correcting, but I started using this whenever I would have a pimple pop up and it worked amazingly. So I can't believe I hadn't been doing it earlier. So if you are the kind of person that has a lot of redness in your skin or you have pimples that pop up here and there, this is a great product to use for that. And I just love, you guys know I love Pacifica so much. Like I love everything about the brand. It's 100% vegan and cruelty free. I feel like every brand should be like Pacifica. It's affordable, so definitely a favorite. All right, next up. I feel like this is on everybody's list probably. Uh, the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. It is the best concealer ever, ever. If you have not tried Tarte Shape Tape, what are you doing? What are you doing? Go get it right now, it's amazing. The only type of person I would say maybe wouldn't like Tarte Shape Tape is people that like a no makeup look because it is very thick, very full coverage. If you like that full coverage, you have to get it, it's so good. I've literally had people ask me, what do you use on your under eye before? Because it's that good. Just trust me. All right, next from Wet n Wild. This also has the label rubbed off because I love it so much. It is the contour stick, cream contour stick from Wet n Wild. And this is in the color Call Me Maple. It is vegan. Wet n Wild is cruelty free. They have a ton of vegan options. You just have to check the packaging for the little V. They clearly label them now, which is awesome. I used this after I put on my foundation. I put it on at the same time I put on my under eye concealer. I just use this and this to contour and highlight with, and it's really creamy. It blends out beautifully. It's a gorgeous color, and it's just, it's just been my favorite. Next for foundation is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. This is my favorite foundation. I love how lightweight it is and how lightweight it feels on the skin. It's a medium coverage, so it's not completely full coverage. So if you're looking for full coverage, you might not love this, but if you're looking for a medium buildable coverage, this is a great foundation. It's very hydrating, glowy, yet um, for the days where I might be a little bit more oily, I can easily mattify it with a powder. 
it's just my favorite. I love it so much. For a more affordable option, Wet n Wild has this foundation. It's the Photo Focus Foundation. Um, so you can get this at the drugstore. I have tried tons of drugstore foundations in my life and I love this more than any of the non-vegan or cruelty-free drugstore foundations I've tried in the past. Um, this has a great coverage to it. It dries to almost like a powdery finish. It makes your skin look really flawless. And I think this is a great option if you are on a budget. Next up from Pacifica, this is the Mineral Neutralizing Mattifier. I have tried quite a few translucent powders throughout this year. This is by far my favorite. It's not translucent. It's, um, it's got a little bit of pigmentation to it, but nothing too crazy where it makes me look washed out or makes my skin a different color. But this makes your skin look so flawless and perfect. I, I can't even explain it. I mean, I've already hit pan on it, obviously. I just really love it. I highly recommend this. For brows, I love the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. This is an oldie but a goodie. It's one that I always go back to. It always makes my brows look completely perfect. And it's a great color as well. This is caramel, so it's Good for blondes that have a little bit more of a warmer tone to it. I have only bought one of these in my lifetime. Um, it lasts so long. So if you're looking for some bang for your buck, this is it. All right, now I'm gonna move on to eyeshadows. I'm gonna start with ColourPop, which ColourPop has a ton of vegan shades. You'll just have to check on the website. They clearly label it. So these are the Super Shock eyeshadows. These are the most gorgeous shimmery eyeshadows ever. They're like a, a creamy kind of consistency, not necessarily a powder, uh, but they get such beautiful pigmentation. Next from Pacifica, this is the Pink Nudes eyeshadow. Honestly, when I got this, I was like, ah, oh, it doesn't look like anything too crazy. And I always have very low expectations for drugstore eyeshadow, but this is an amazing palette. It's the most beautiful peachy brown colors. Next from Kat Von D, you guys probably just saw this in a video of mine. This is the Saint and Center palette. It is gorgeous, vegan, so many beautiful shimmer shades, so many great matte shades, so many eyeshadow looks. I am wearing this on my eyes today and I just highly recommend it. It's limited edition, so get your hands on it now if you want it. For eyeliner, my favorite was the one and only Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. The only thing I don't like about this liner is I feel like it runs out really quickly, but it stays on amazingly. It paints on beautifully. It's super black. It's matte. I just, I love everything about it and I have not found one that compares. I am on the hunt for a drugstore version that I'm going to like as much as this. I will keep you guys posted once I find that. But for now, this was my favorite eyeliner of 2017. All right, mascaras. My absolute favorite, always and forever, is the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. This is a travel size because I ran out of the full size because I love it that much. It is just the most beautiful mascara. It makes my lashes look like they're fake lashes, but in a good way. I just love it so much. And then I just recently discovered the Pacifica Dream Big Mascara. If you haven't seen my video on that, I'll link it down below. Definitely go watch it because I didn't think anything could compare to Too Faced Better Than Sex, but I really love the staying power of this guy and it gives me a little bit more flexibility with options because the brush actually changes. Um, it can get shorter or longer depending on how volumized you want your lashes to be. And um, I really like the plastic bristles. And then last, I wanted to throw in a third option there for you is the Urban Decay Troublemaker Mascara. I actually forgot about this mascara, um, but it is vegan, so that's amazing. And it has an awesome plastic wand as well. So if you like plastic wands like this Pacifica Dream Big, then you'll definitely like this too. I feel like this is a great wand to get all of the lashes and it volumizes really nicely as well. I wouldn't say I love it as much as the other two, but I like my lashes very big. So if you like more of a natural look, you will probably like the Troublemaker Mascara a little bit better. Next from Too Faced is the Love Flush Blush in Baby Love. I've talked about this in so many videos. You guys are probably like, get the F over that blush, find a new blush, but I don't want to. I love this blush so much. It is the perfect mauve color that looks beautiful with any makeup look. All right, another Too Faced product uh, is the Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This is in light and medium, so it's the Milk Chocolate Soleil 
uh, obviously I love it. So I use this to kind of like add an overall bronze look to the face and it smells like chocolate. So that's amazing. Now I probably have chocolate on my nose. Okay, next up for highlighter, we have this from 100% Pure. This is in rose gold. It is the gemmed luminizer. And I really loved this in the summertime. It's a very, very natural highlight. So if you prefer less of a disco ball look and you want more of like a glow from within look, this is a great one for that. Next from Wet n Wild, we have this highlighting bar and this is in the color Midnight Moon. It's a limited edition. I don't know if you can still buy it, but it's a very beautiful highlighter that I found. Looks really nicely when I'm not as tan or I want more of like a pop of a highlight. All right, now for lip products from Pacifica. I love their lip balms. They have so many different flavors. This is in Bali Coconut, um, but my favorite is actually the Indian Chai flavor because it smells like chai tea. It's so amazing. Um, but these are just really great hydrating lip balms that I love to just have in my purse for days when I'm not wearing lipstick. Or if I'm about to do my makeup, I'll just put this on first while I'm doing the rest of my makeup. And also before I go to bed, I love to put this on too. For gloss, I am not a gloss girl, but I did fall in love with this from Too Faced this summer. This is the Sweet Peach Creamy Peach Oil Lip Gloss. I'm not sure what shade this is, but I will link it down below if I can find out. This is the best smelling lip gloss ever. It smells like peaches. It reminds me of being younger when all of your lip stuff smelled like candy. That is how this is. It smells so good. And it provides just a little bit of a peach color, but it's still very natural. It's not sticky on the lips, so it doesn't feel gross. It's just very shiny and smooth, and I really like it. And then for liquid lipstick, Wet n Wild has these liquid cat suits. All of them except for a few shades are vegan. It's a great drugstore liquid lipstick that stays on for a very long time. I have quite a few shades in this, and it's one that I just reach for over and over again. So definitely check this out if you are looking for a drugstore liquid lipstick option. Amazing. Another one I got as a little sample, but I am definitely gonna get the full size of, is the Tarte Tartiest Lip Paint. And this is in the color Birthday Suit. This is the perfect nude, just for those days where you just want to have a plain nude, nothing crazy, this is it. I love it so much. I don't even think there's like anything left in here because that is how much I used it. Um, it's a great one. And then from Kat Von D, I have a ton of her mini lipsticks because I buy the holiday collection every year. And this is in the color Plath. I love this color for fall. It's so gorgeous. It's the most beautiful burgundy brown color. And I highly recommend Kat Von D liquid lipsticks if you haven't tried them yet. They are my all time favorite. So go get you one if you don't own one. And then last for lips from Pacifica, I have this lipstick it is the Power of Love lipstick and this is in the color nudie red and this is a very hydrating matte lip color I really like it for the days where I just want to have something comfortable on my lips but I want to have a little bit of color Pacifica uses great natural ingredients so I don't feel like I'm like sucking my lips dry when I put this on and that's all I have to say about it because now it's on the floor and last setting spray. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I have been using this for years and years and years and years. I'm pretty sure I've been using this since I was in college. This is the best setting spray ever. I used to think that setting sprays didn't do anything, but they really do. If nothing else, it gives your makeup just an overall finished look. It kind of just melts everything together and just gives it a really beautiful, cohesive look. So definitely pick some of this up if you don't have a setting spray. It's amazing and it also just helps your makeup stay on all day. Now I'm gonna go through some like brushes and stuff. I know that's not technically makeup, but these were products that were my favorite. First, I wanna talk about this. This is the Makeup Drop Silicone Sponge. I have a video on this as well, so I'm sure you've seen it. If not, you can go check it out. I did a first impressions. Honestly, did not think I was gonna like this, but I use this almost every single day now to apply my foundation. And what I love most about it, um, I like, I, I love the Beauty Blender. I realize that it makes your makeup look so flawless and there's hardly anything that can compare, but I really don't think it's sanitary and I really don't think it's good for my skin. I try to clean it a lot, but I still, uh, I just, I don't know. It might be all in my head, but something about this is a lot more sanitary to me because I can wash it off after every single use 
and so I have like a clean thing to work with and what I do is I just drop it on the sponge and then I'll just do little circular motions all over my face to apply it and then I'll buff it out with a brush if it needs to be buffed out in places I don't use this for under eye concealer I use my beauty blender still for that I don't ever break out there so I'm a little bit less worried about using it there than I am like my cheeks and my chin and places that I break out. I don't love it for concealer but for foundation I definitely recommend it. And now for makeup brushes I discovered some really good makeup brushes this year. These are by Spectrum Collections and I showed these in a drugstore makeup haul. They come in a huge pack with a bunch of different styles. and. I really, really love these brushes. Not only are they just really pretty to look at, but they apply makeup beautifully. They're cruelty-free, so if you are like starting from scratch, you need all cruelty-free brushes, go check out Spectrum. They have a ton of different sets, so you can kind of just like get a starter kit and go to town. Highly, highly recommend it. My favorites from the collection that I got are this that I use for a foundation brush. This is the B01. This that I love for eyeshadow, it's the A06. This is an angled one that I love for putting concealer underneath the eyebrow. This is a this is the A17. And then I love this for eyeshadow as well, the outer corners especially. This is the B04. So if you're interested in getting some brushes, those are my favorites. But I do, I love all of them in the kit. I use pretty much all of them. Okay, and then last, Urban Decay. I did not know this, but they have a fantastic collection of cruelty-free brushes. So I recently discovered them this year. They are so luxurious, so high quality, so amazing. The brushes that I have from them that are my favorite are the Large Tapered Foundation. This is the F101. Um, I actually use this for putting on bronzer, but I could see how this could be a good foundation brush as well because it's tapered. You could like really get in there into like the little creases and corners and stuff. And then the Large Powder F102. This is my favorite brush probably ever of life. I use it to put on this Pacifica powder and I just put it all over my face. It's so big, so soft, so fluffy. It just applies that powder beautifully and I just feel like these two together are the secret to having a beautiful, flawless makeup. And then the last brush from Urban Decay, this is the Diffusing Highlighter F106 and I use this to apply a highlighter on the tops of my cheekbones and my nose and my cupid's bow. I just feel like this does a really good job of like kind of diffusing highlighter like it says. They really know what they're doing when they name these brushes. Woo, we made it. That is it for my 2017 favorites. I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. And if you have any of the same favorites as me, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to know if we have any in common. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.